Hey, what is up, Flavor Family? It is Bobby and Art back at the grocery store to review bread. Oh my gosh, there are so many options for bread, and I kind of got news for you. Probably 85% of them are no good. And last week at the end of the Costco video, we asked you, what do you want to see next week? And bread was the overwhelming uh, request. So we are going to hook you up. The thing is, a lot of people try to give up bread and they just can't do it. So if you're gonna eat bread, I wanna make sure you guys are eating bread that's nutritious, made with real and good ingredients, and it's not gonna spike your blood sugar and make you hungry 30 minutes later. I want it to be really, really satiating bread. So before we break down all these breads, hook me up, you guys. Subscribe to our channel because every single week we are rocking out three videos. Two videos on the weekend, one at live stream during the week. Better yet, there's a little bell icon right below the video click that bell because you don't want to miss these live streams. We're cooking a recipe from start to finish and it's super fun. All right, so first off, I thought we'd start with the worst of the worst. They don't even have it here at Whole Foods. I brought it in the white bread, right? This is the stuff I kind of grew up with. My parents would take us to the Wonder Bread factory just outside of Chicago. We'd get this, we'd make sandwiches and feed the ducks at the local pond. Poor me, poor ducks, because this stuff is the worst of the worst. Look at the ingredients. The number one ingredient is unbleached enriched wheat flour. So that's red flag number one. Never buy breads made with bleached or unbleached flour because they're basically taking what was a whole grain, stripping it down and getting rid of all the good stuff. The white bread and the grains like this will spike your blood sugar and make you hungry 30 minutes later and has no nutrition. In fact, they strip them all away and if you read the ingredients, they put some of them back in man-made, which is really, really bad. And the reason why you wanna buy whole grains is because it's a complete grain. It has the bran, the germ, and the endosperm. When you have the enriched, you get rid of all the good stuff except the endosperm, which is why they add back nutrients here because they took all the good stuff away. Then you have stuff here like partially hydrogenated vegetable oils, tons of uh, chemicals and bad ingredients. And generally, if a bread is super light and you can squish it into a ball like that, it's typically a bad thing. So this is a no-no, but I think you guys all knew that. Then, I brought this with me too. Any uh, bread from Petr Pepperidge Farm is gonna be a no. This is probably one of their like more premier lines, the farmhouse oatmeal bread. And it feels kind of heavy and dense and you might think it's good, but this is where you have to read the ingredients on the back. Number one, it's with enriched wheat flour. So not whole grains, that's strike one. It's got soybean oil. Does it say it's uh, non-GMO? No. So they're using highly processed, highly refined soybean oil that has a chemical called hexane to extract all the oil. So that's really bad. But a lot of breads will use something like monoglycerides. It's another word for a dough conditioner. It's a chemical they put into the bread so it bakes quicker. Why would you want to bake bread quicker? Because they're a factory, right? They want to churn and burn these out as quickly as possible. Good bread is worth waiting for. So anything that has a dough conditioner, and I'll put the list of all the names for that, you want to avoid. So this is a no, and anything from Pepperidge Farm is a no. Let's go to something really, really good. Sprouted breads. These are the Bobby approved top choice for breads because the nutrition and ingredients is amazing. This brand is Silver Hills. It's a really good quality bread. Now, why do you want sprouted grains? Because it's a grain soaked in water until a little tail forms. Then it's ground into a paste and made into bread. Sprouted breads are very easy for your body to digest. Plus, when you sprout a grain, there's a ton more nutrients your body derives out of it. So it's a double whammy, which is why you want to buy this one. And then look at the ingredients. This one's my favorite, the uh, Big Reds bread. Organic sprouted uh, wheat, grains, seeds, nuts. You don't see any chemicals. You don't see any dough conditioners. This stuff is really good. If you want a lighter texture, the uh, little Big Bread is a little softer and chewier. Great for sandwiches. And then right above it is brown berry, which I want you to avoid because marketing gimmicks, right? Natural wheat and other titles like cracked wheat, multi-grain, seven grain, all natural, doesn't mean anything. All you have to do is turn it over and read the ingredients. The first one is cracked wheat. Cracked wheat is another word for unbleached, enriched white flour. Does not work. There's soybean oil in here. Once again, is it non-GMO? No, it's not. So this is just as bad as white bread, but you would think that is better. So you wanna stay away from that. We also wanna talk about uh, hamburger buns because it's the uh, summertime. I just saw this right here. Art, you like pretzilla, right? Love it. The thing is, I love that soft pretzely flavor and texture, but the ingredients are brutal, you guys. We have obviously enriched flour because that's what uh, a pretzel is made of, but canola oil, it's not uh, non-GMO. 
We have uh, a bunch of chemicals and stabilizers in here. We'll show you some better hamburger buns. Actually, right here, the uh, Silver Hills makes a sprouted hamburger bun. So once again, the benefit of the sprout is that it's way, way better for you. The ingredients are super clean. And uh, in case you don't want like that sprouted flavor and texture for a hamburger bun, I'll show you another one later on that has uh, a better texture and it's more like that pillowy, soft, enriched flour that we know. Um, here's one that's kind of on my maybe list. It's uh, Kiplinger's. Good, the first ingredient is whole grain wheat flour, which is great. And then it specifically says non-GMO soybean oil. Great. Look at the sugar. There's two grams of sugar per slice in general for bread. We don't want to buy bread that has more than two grams of sugar per slice. And we don't want to buy bread that has less than two grams of protein and fiber. Otherwise, it's going to spike your blood sugar and make you hungry in 30 minutes. The whole point of eating a hearty, sprouted, good quality whole grain bread is that it satiates your hunger. And the only way it's going to do that is if it has two grams each of fiber and protein. So let that be on your list too. This one has one fiber and three protein. So because of that and because of the ingredients, it's a maybe. It's another, not ideal, but semi-maybe-ish. It's best grains. And it's heavy, it feels good. We read the ingredients. Whole grain wheat flour, great. Unbleached wheat flour. So a lot of times you'll see whole grain and then the next one is uh, enriched or unbleached wheat flour. So they're following it up with the bad one. But then it has a bunch of good stuff in here like buckwheat flour, flax seeds. Uh, protein has four grams per slice. Rudy's is a very popular one. Actually, the, the other day I made burgers at home and I meant to buy Udi's gluten-free buns and we ate the burgers, they were delicious. I'm like, wow, these buns are so soft and pillowy. I looked at the bag, I bought Rudy's buns by mistake, which was not gluten-free, but I guess I can very easily get uh, mistaken because they look exactly the same and have one letter difference. Uh, so Rudy's is good stuff, right? We look at the ingredients, whole wheat flour, um, a bunch of other really good stuff here. It does have a little bit of uh, enriched flour later on, but I want you to stay away from the Rudy's white bread. Or in fact, I want you to stay away from any white bread at all because it's never whole wheat. Always the first ingredient is wheat flour, which is another word for enriched wheat. And the reason why they do that is that soft white bread flavor and texture, but we don't want that. So even though it's made with good quality ingredients, it doesn't have the whole wheat in here. Uh, so what else do we have here? Let's grab this natural ovens here. You'd think it'd be really good for you based upon the name and the, uh, the front of the packaging. So far, so good. It's got whole wheat flour as the second ingredient. And the rest of the ingredients aren't bad until we get to soybean oil, right? Is it GMO free? No. So they're using the GMO low quality soybean oil. I would just wouldn't buy that, right? So every other ingredient is good. Why are they cheaping out? If they just bought like Expeller Press soybean oil or organic, I'd be okay with it. So I would not buy that. Okay, the last bread in this aisle is gonna be gluten-free Udi's. Now the thing is, when you get to gluten-free breads, they tend to be made of a lot of starches, right? They can't use whole grains because they have gluten. And they typically have a blend of tapioca starch, rice flour, and when you have that, it's gonna be higher on the glycemic index because it spikes your blood sugar. So that's one thing to keep a lookout. But let's go to the freezer aisle because that's where the best of the best breads are in the grocery store, and I can't wait for you to check it out. All right, you guys, this is my favorite bread of all time, Ezekiel, all right? Now, some people keep it in the freezer aisle. Some people keep it in the, uh, the shelf. It doesn't matter. Actually, what matters is the price because here at Whole Foods, it's $6.39. Get it at Trader Joe's. It's about $4.69, so way cheaper there. And why this stuff is so good and why this brand, Food for Life, is so good is the ingredients. I mean, check this out. It's made with sprouted wheat, sprouted barley, rye, uh, soy, corn. There's zero sugar in here. So if you uh, have diabetes or high blood sugar, definitely get this. And what makes this so good is that it's the combination of these sprouted beans and these sprouted grains that form a complete protein. So it's pretty similar to the protein you would find in eggs and milk. And there's 18 amino acids in here, nine of which are essential. So this is really, really good stuff. Any one of these I would get, even the cinnamon raisin doesn't have added sugar. It's just the sugar from that. Down here is something called mana bread. It's a little heavy and dense, but it's really, really good quality stuff. And then another top quality bread that makes my list, they don't have here actually. They only have it in Chicago at uh, Costco, which Art stopped at before we started the video to get this. Thank you, Art. Dave's Killer Bread. This stuff is great. Six something for two loaves of bread. 
Look at the ingredients, you guys. Amazing. Organic whole wheat, tons of grains, seeds, nothing artificial, no dough conditioners, nothing bad in here. Uh, this is the kind of bread you want to eat. Uh, this, this guy's blowing up, right? It's becoming more and more popular. I'm surprised they don't have it here at Whole Foods, but this is great. Um, another one that's fantastic is Alvarado Street Bakery. Fantastic. It's a sprouted bread once again, but they have it at Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's has it for, I think, $3.50 a loaf. This is $5 a loaf. Ingredients, just like the uh, Ezekiel, sprouted everything, super clean. So if you're going to eat carbs, make them complex carbs. That'll satiate your hunger, right? Carbs matter. Eat something like this. It's going to make you feel a lot better. Let's go back into gluten-free land really quick. So the same brand that makes Ezekiel is Food for Life. All of these breads from Food for Life are gluten-free and are fantastic. The original seed, the rice, really, really good stuff. I would stay away from this brand. First of all, it's the stupidest name in the history, Glutino. It's like, can you guys be a little more creative? But the ingredients are not the best, and it's a very crumbly bread that is not good at all. Probably one of my favorite gluten-free breads is going to be right here, Canyon Bakehouse. This stuff is fantastic. I think this is best in class when it comes to uh, gluten-free breads. Super clean ingredients. Look at that extra virgin olive oil in here. Um, only two grams of sugar. Super, super high quality. All right, they kicked us out. It was bound to happen. I mean, Art and I have been on a hot streak lately, but we pretty much finished the video, right? And you got the gist. Buy breads that are made with whole grains, not enriched flour. Buy ones that are high in protein and fiber so they satiate your hunger and they're made with real grains. And buy ones that don't have any added sugar, chemicals, preservatives, because breads are not supposed to last on your counter for two weeks. It's supposed to be fresh, simple ingredients, and that's it, you guys. All right, you guys, Art and I just finished another haul, but we want to know what you want to see next. So we're going to put up a poll right now. Vote and let us know. We got two more of our hauls going below us right now, but Art and I will see you very soon. Until then, hashtag keep on cooking, mad love, and peace.